in life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities.
Welcome into the Conference Carolinas Digital Network. SWU basketball taking on King University tonight here at historic Tysinger Auditorium. As the starting lineups are announced, the Warriors coming in tonight to the game at a 2-15 overall record and uh, going up against King, who is having a little better season than that uh, at a 10-7 and seven overall record. So the Warriors, from a record standpoint, will have their work cut out for them tonight. Uh, but they have battled through this entire season uh, doing a great job, and they've got more depth tonight than they've had in the past. Uh, now that some of the uh, clouds of COVID have passed, there is uh, a little more depth. For a while there, they had to play with just uh, one person uh, available on the bench. On the bench, and so um, it uh, is exciting tonight to have a little bit more depth from the Warriors' side for uh, for Swu for King. Uh, they are showing up once again. Uh, with a lot of good shooters, a lot of speed on the court. Uh, coached by their interim head coach in his first season, Michael Phelps. No, not the Olympic medalist Michael Phelps, but uh, a winner all the same. The uh, SWU Warriors tonight, coached by head coach in his 12th year, John Davis, and uh, his assistant, Derek Forrester, also has been around for uh, uh, his fifth year here. And so uh, a lot of veteran leadership. And uh, I've been able to see these ladies battle all year long in some close ones. Um, got a lot going for them. So we will see the tip-off tonight coming from Allie Newberry on the side of the Warriors and Caroline Harville for King, and possession will go to the Warriors to start things out, Tristan Berry. Working the ball around, Nakia Hooks on the court, Allie Newberry on the court, Sasha Schoenborn out wide, and Brittany Mack in as well. Shot attempted and missed off the front of the rim from Newberry, but rebounded by the Warriors as Mack resets. Schoenborn in the corner. And a travel call on Tristan Berry. Taken down the court by Brianna Dunbar. Desiree Bates lays it in for the first points, 2-0. King up. Running the press, good job by the Warriors. Passing to break that press. Brittany Mack pulls up for a potential shot. Tristan Berry takes a shot and it is right on and just doesn't get a good bounce on the rim. And that's Desiree Bates again. Bates with Four points on the night to start out for King. Warriors break through the press. Barry drives. Allie Newberry shot midcourt. Also can't spin it. 4 0. Back down the court. Trinity Lee with the ball for King. Riley Fritz takes a shot, misses off the side of the rim. Rebound, Swu. Brittany Mack. Working it around, good pitch in there to Nakia Hooks, who gets a good layup, falling down to put points on the board for Swu. 4 2 the score. King working the ball around, blocked by Newberry. Here's a shot, that's Bates for the three point. Seven 
7-2 as Tristan Berry sets up the offense and that goes off the foot of Brianna Dunbar. And the ball will go to Swu as they call a kick. Tristan Berry. Cross court pass, Nakia Hooks. On the board with four points, seven, four. Three point shot and good. Trinity Lee. Brittany Mack driving, good layup and in. 10-6, running the fast break back and forth. Here's Harville. And that one will go out. Riley Fritz not able to hang on to it. Warriors ball. Kayla Garrett will check in in place of hooks. Max pass broken up. And a travel call on Bates. 10-6 the score. Allie Newberry, Kayla Garrett, Schoenborn, Mack, and Tristan Berry out on the court. For the Warriors, shot deep for Allie Newberry, and it is off. 10-6. Outside shot, Trinity Lee with the three-point. Tristan Berry driving, working inside, rebounded by Garrett, and good. Good board for Kyla Garrett, 13-8. Outside shot, just off, and that time Garrett comes down with it, and they're going to call a foul and give the ball back to the Warriors. So good job on both ends of the court from Kyla, uh, Kayla Garrett um, as she's able to get a rebound, put points on the board, and break it up on the other end. Quite a few substitutions come in at this point for King. Alexa Gremmen on the court. And Jada McKinney also on the court. And a timeout call to go to our first break, 13-8. King leading, and we'll go to a break. In life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities.
After the break, the King Tornado has the ball, but we'll give it back to Swu. 13-8 is the score. Brittany Mack draws the foul. Off Riley Fritz, and she, she will go to the line. Seventy-three percent free throw shooter is Brittany Mack. Makes one. And makes them both to keep the Warriors within three, 13-10. As Fritz brings it down the court. Pressed by the Warriors, and that's Bates. He's already made some points tonight. Garrett trying to get the rebound. Slaps it out of the hands of Brooke Hendricks. Brooke Hendricks. Warriors ball. Brittany Mack taking the ball down. Tristan Berry looking for an end. Throws to Garrett, but it's picked off. Trinity Lee brings it down, and a shot fired from McKinney. And a scuffle on the floor. Schoenborn trying to get possession goes to, to the possession, which will give it to King. Shot missed off the board from Gremmen. Schoenborn trying to drive. Got away with uh, maybe a walk for a second there. Hendricks not able to press. Swoo ball. Harville come back on the court. Dunbar back on the court. Pass from Hendricks. Garrett can't hold on to it. Harville with the feed into Bates, goes over the rim. Bates looking for a foul, it's not there. Tristan Berry into Kayla Garrett, looking for the turnaround. Off the back glass and it is good. Warriors within one, 13-12. Dunbar setting up a play for King. Harville and Garrett battling down low. Then there's the shot, and that is good. Trinity Lee. 16-12. Outside shot working pretty well so far for King. And there's Tristan Berry trying hers, and it is good. That's Shelby Glantz, excuse me. Good shot from Glance. From Caroline Reese, I'm so sorry. Caroline Reese with the shot. Excellent job. That's Tristan Berry. Shot just goes in and out a second time. She's been right on line and just can't seem to make the bounce and go in. So uh, a host of Warriors will now come in at this point. That will be Shelby Glantz coming onto the court. Caroline Reese is also on the court as well. And Nakia Hooks.
Hendricks driving. Loses control. Picked up by King. Knocked away again by Barry. And finally recovered by Graman, who gives it off to Dunbar. High arch shot from Bates. Misses, but rebounded by Alexa Graman. And good, good job on the board there. 2015 is now the score. Hendricks driving. Off the glass, good layup, 2017. Hendricks with a steal, all alone, and misses the layup. Trinity Lee does not miss the layup, 22-17. Hendricks loses control, throws it away. Barry comes back and a foul call. On Dunbar and Shelby Glantz will take the ball out for Swu as King makes some substitutions. Jaden Potts in. Maddie Denton in on the court. And Jada Campbell on the court as well. Here's Potts. Campbell got bracketed in. 22 seconds left to go in the quarter. 22-17, King ball out of bounds. Alexa Graman. Feed into Worley, who takes the shot. And as she's been there, Graman with the rebound and board right back up. Here's Hendricks with a shot and rebounded and recovered Nakia Hicks doing a good job keeping it close, 24-19. It is a close game as we go into the second quarter. You're watching SWU Basketball, Conference Carolina's digital network. In life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. Back in for the start of the second quarter, 24-19, King Tornado on top of SWU. The Warriors with the ball, Shelby Glantz on the court. Caroline Reese calling for the ball. Brittany Mack with a shot outside, drops it. 24-21. Jaden Potts moving the ball around. Mandy Denton. Yeah. 
Alexa Grimmen, who's been on the court, scored quite a lot as well. And there's a feed and a good shot into Maddie Denton to keep the pressure on. King just good at making shots. They hustle, doing a really good job, and that's a great shot from Shelby Glantz. Well needed three point, 26 24. Shot from Worley. Rebounded by Potts. And a three point shot just off from Campbell. And a foul call. King will inbound. Alexa Grammon will take the ball out up top. Two point lead for King. Campbell with the ball. To Worley, takes the shot off the glass. And recovered again by Grammon who feeds it off and recovers it again. She is just right where she needs to be every time to collect the rebound and keeps putting it back in. And that is keeping that is keeping King in this. So we'll take a quick timeout. We'll be right back. Conference Carolinas Digital. In life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. Eight twelve left to go here in the second quarter. SWU basketball at historic Tysinger, the campus of Southern Wesleyan University. 28-24 is the score. Close game, tight game so far. Caroline Reese wanted a shot, but Alexa Grammon, who's been everywhere so far in this half, denies that, knocks the ball out of her hands. Graham had been especially effective under the goal. Shot missed, short from Caroline Harville. Warriors recover. Max somebody coming behind her. It's Potts. Caroline Reese looking for somewhere to pass it. And that's Tristan Berry with a quick drive to put the Warriors back close within two, 28-26. Campbell with a big knee brace on, not able to elevate underneath the goal. And there's Berry again, finding the seam, driving it, doing a good job off the, uh, off the glass. Tied up, 28-28 for the first time tonight since it was 0-0. Doing a good job trying to stop King from driving in. 
even though they've proven they can do the outside shot too. That one missed. Shelby Glantz comes down with the rebound. Brittany Mack driving and will collect a foul as she drives. 28-28 and Mack will go to the line for the second time as a few substitutions come in on both teams. Alexa Graman, one of those going out for for King. She's been super effective so far. Mack misses the first. Every point's definitely going to count in this game. You can tell that it's going to come down to the wire. 29-28 if it stays like this throughout the course of the game. Drive pulled down. Schoenborn able to collect the rebound from Bates. And there's Kayla Garrett off the glass to give the Warriors a lead, 31-28. Well, they had the lead by one, but now they got a little more of a lead. Schoenborn guarding Trinity Lee. Outside shot from King. That was Dunbar. Rebound collected by Garrett. And Brittany Mack slows it down. As Alexa Graman gets ready to come back in the game. So I expected they didn't want to let her get cold. And a foul called as Garrett collects a little bit of it. Garrett always has that smile on her face. Get a lot of joy out of being there on the court as Bates will check out and Alexa Graman will check in. Garrett is good on the first shot. She's a 50% free throw shooter. Take 50-50, drops them both, 100% on that one on the line. 33-28 with 4.50 to go in the half. Warriors playing press. King able to break it, and Allie Newberry with a block down to Hendricks. Hendricks high off the glass, misses. Newberry comes flying in and lays out on the ground. Good series for... Uh, the Warriors, no points came from it, but holding on 33-28 as the ball will go back to King. Outside shot, just misses. That's Fritz with the shot. Kayla Garrett on the rebound. Tristan Berry bringing it down. Inside pass from Newberry to Hendricks off the side of the glass. Schoenborn, outside shot, three-point was on line. Garrett with the rebound and good. 35-28. And we will take a quick timeout there as the Warriors are getting heated up. 35-28 with a good lead, 4.05 left to go in the half. We'll take a quick break. You're watching Conference Carolina's Digital Network. In life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities.
We're back, four minutes left to go on the clock, 35-28, Warriors are up. Off the high-flying King and Alex Alexa Grimman. Surprise, surprise, with the shot, 30-35. She's been all over the place tonight for sure. The MVP of the first half for King. But Allie Newberry doing her best to try to be everywhere, collects her own rebound and drives. Can't get the ball to spin off the backboard. Grammon misses. Newberry doing a good job, but she is amazing at collecting her own rebounds. It just is a fact so far tonight. She has collected at least five of her own rebounds and others as well to keep putting the ball in on the score. Newberry, deep shot. Garrett. Trying to get her hands free, and Garrett doing a great job for Swu on the rebound board and scoring off of that. 32-37, three minutes left to go. And a foul call. Ball will go to King. Here's Graman with the shot. High off the glass. 34 37. King within a possession now. Thirteen seconds on the shot clock. Good feed into Garrett. And they're going to say that she charged in. 34, 37, 219 on the clock. Warriors make a few substitutions. Nakia Hooks, Shelby Glantz down court. Hendricks with the block on Graman. Tristan Berry, midcourt shot, good. 34-39 inside of two minutes. King's not able to get a shot off. Tries the high percentage shot. Alexa Graman with the rebound. Shelby Glantz comes down with the missed shot. 39-34, minute 30 left to go in the half. And wide open, backdoor pass to Shelby Glantz from Tristan Berry. Just a blown defense that time for King. Alexa Grimman outside, three-point shot. It's off. Hendricks comes down with the rebound. And we're closing in on one minute. 41-34, Swu is up. And an off pass from Brittany Mack. Off the hand of Hendricks. So it will be king ball. 58 seconds on the clock. McKinney will pass the ball in. Fritz brings the ball down for King. Clock moving, 20 seconds more on the shot clock. Fritz takes the three-point shot and misses. And there's a struggle on the ground. Brittany Max going to come back after Nakia Hooks is able to recover the ball. And Brittany Mack once again will collect the foul. As she goes up in the air, doing a great job tonight drawing fouls in the air. This is her third time at the line, and she's made all but one. Gets two shots. 39 seconds will be on the game play clock. Misses the first.
Brittany Mack, sophomore out of Spartanburg, South Carolina, makes the second. Put the Warriors 42-34, closing on 30 seconds. Shelby Glantz blocks the pass. Mack looking for another drive. Nakia Hooks. Shot clock in alignment, deep shot, and three-point from Brittany Mack. Warriors are heating up, 45-34, down to 13 seconds on the clock. No shot clock now, now under 10. Final shot for King. Shot taken outside, three-point. It's going to be missed. Brittany Mack comes down with it, doesn't try to throw the full-court shot. A great half for Southern Wesleyan against a very tough opponent in King. Probably one of the best halves that I've seen from this team this season. Um, and I haven't been at all their games by any means, but uh, been a good one here. So 45-34, we are at halftime. We will see you back for the second half. Conference Carolina's Digital Network, SWU Basketball. In life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities.
Welcome back in SWU basketball here at historic Ty Singer campus of Southern Wesleyan University, 45-34. The Warriors are up over the King Tornado. Good first half for both teams, really close. King led most of the half, but the Warriors were able to actually just stretch out that lead in the last few minutes there. King has not been to the line in the first half um, in terms of fouls. So we're in the second half getting it started here right off the bat. Brianna Dunbar. See what adjustments both teams made. A lot of it just came down to hustle and there's a foul from Nakia Hooks on Brianna Dunbar and just like that, they will go to the line. Dunbar. The 70% free throw shooter. Working the ball around, trying to get the ball into Hooks. And Hooks is fouled. Non-shooting foul, so we'll go out of bounds with Allie Newberry taking the ball out. Newberry into Schoenborn. Good adjustment from Newberry. Good pass to Nakia Hooks, who gets the foul as she goes up. And that will be a shooting foul, and she will go to the line. Nakia Hooks, 75% free throw shooter, so pretty good. Drops that one. And this is the second. Outside shot off the edge of the rim. That was Trinity Lee. Allie Newberry clapping for the ball. Warriors working it around the top of the key, looking for something inside. Drop down to four seconds. Barry with a shot. Nakia Hooks, rebound and score, which has been a lot of the case tonight. Good rebounds for the Warriors as they go up 48-36. And a missed shot from Bates. Pass in to Nakia Hooks, broken up, and they're gonna call jump ball. And they'll call jump ball in possession, swoo. It's Trinity Lee and Nakia Hooks were fighting for it. Fans, students starting to trickle in here. Guys game coming up right after this game. Quick clock reset. I think we have more than 30 seconds on the clock, but that's what it's showing at the moment. 48-36. So uh, not on the court right now, as mentioned before. Um, 
is Grauman for King, not on the court. Um, although she was the high score leader for King on in the first half. The Warriors add to their point total with 50 to 36 now. One of the bigger leads they've had this season as Harville makes the shot for King. The Warriors work in the perimeter, but Brittany Mack throws it away. Harville right there to collect it. And a good rebound for Trinity Lee, but can't come, can't put the board back up. Bates, outside shot. And that's Dunbar with the three. Brittany Mack looking to drive. We're gonna call foul on Trinity Lee. Mack tonight has done a really fantastic job for the Warriors of drawing fouls on her drives, getting up in the air. Been to the line, I believe this is her fourth or fifth time to the line tonight, and I believe she has uh, made all but two. And a timeout is called. A technical is called. Not 100% sure what what that was. Mac to the line by herself, which always makes it more pressure when you're standing down there in the spotlight all alone, misses the first. Makes the second, and she, because of the, the T, will get another. Makes that, and actually gets another in bonus as well. So a lot of opportunity to just keep adding free points to the lead here for Brittany Mack, who has done a wonderful job tonight of doing that. And this is the last one. But uh, stretches out the lead even more, 52-41. And we will see how King responds to that. And once again, I don't know what the call was. Allie Newberry tries to get it over in the corner to Brittany Mack. It's picked off by Brianna Dunbar but goes out of bounds. Shelby Glantz will take the ball out at the corner. A lot of time on the shot clock, plenty of time to work it around. Feed in the Nakia hooks back outside, top of the three-point line. And good for Allie Newberry, who gets a favorable bounce. 55-41. That's Fritz. Making a drive and foul call on Nakia Hooks, who will check out. Kayla Garrett will check in. Brooke Hendricks will check in in place of Newberry as Fritz will go to the line. Fritz is 73% free throw shooter. Makes a pretty shot. Makes them both. Uh, 
Press on. Good pause by Mack to get it set. Hendricks outside three point off the side of the rim. Quick transition, his Trinity Lee. And Hendricks comes to knock it away. Although it will stay with King. Good hustle by Brooke Hendricks. Trinity Lee, an underhand layup, flat-footed from the floor, makes it. King back within 10, 45-55. Warriors playing ball control, holding it on as long as possible. Until the shot clock winds down, smart. Six seconds on the shot clock, Shelby Glantz. Finds the bottom of the net. And then makes a good solid block and they're gonna call a carry. Warriors ball, so thing going the right way for the Warriors at this point. And they are taking advantage of this lead. Doing good on each possession. Trying to work the clock. Hendricks, the spin towards the basket and that'll be a timeout call. 4.49 left to go in the third quarter. 58.45, Swoo is up over King. You're watching Swoo basketball, Conference Carolina Digital. In life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. Out of the break, 58-45, King with the ball. Coming down course, Dunbar. Feeds into Trinity Lee, nowhere to go. Good defense from Barry. It's Harville, the spin move, and they're gonna call a foul on Kayla Garrett, whose feet were moving during that, and that will, that will send Caroline Harville to the line. Misses the first. Misses both. So not able to capitalize on that foul. Kayla Garrett. Good feed from Garrett, looking to glance. And sort of a dish off pass from Brittany Mack. Kayla Garrett able to get it and good job off the glass. So we've been missing Kayla Garrett's ability to uh, rebound and fire from underneath. Forty-five, sixty. the score. They're 
They're going to give Kayla Garrett a foul, saying uh, she put a knee into the back of Harville and <laughs> doesn't want to check out, but uh, Nakia Hooks is coming in. Harville, second time at the line in the last couple minutes and uh, missed both on her last time at the line. And now Alexa Graman is coming back in the line. She's got a, a wrap around her wrist. I wonder if that's why they've kind of been saving her minutes. As Harville makes the first. Maybe something happened to her wrist in the first half. And Harville able to get both that time. Worley checks into the game. McKinney also in the game for King. Hooks across the middle. Back to Brittany Mack. Breaking the press with Glance. Caroline Reese. And an air ball, rare air ball from Shelby Glance. So Warriors not able to make on that possession. King working the ball around. Good perimeter defense from the Warriors tonight in general, right now doing a really good job of just closing closing the doors quickly, and they will give the ball to King. On the hit out of bounds. King ball. So a quick redo here, 47, 63, 11 left to go in this quarter. Inbound from Trinity Lee. Harville takes a awkward shot or pass. I'm not sure what it was, but it will go back to Swu. Tristan Berry with the ball. Trying to move it around, throws into sort of a double covered Nakia Hooks. Good job by Shelby Glance, stopping Dunbar from making any movement, but she gets it back and shoots a three way out. Nakia Hooks with the rebound. Two and a half minutes in the quarter. Full shot clock. Inside to Brittany Mack. Just misses over the top of the rim. Comes Grauman, keeping it in her right hand. Shot and missed. Recovered by Swu. Trying to break in transition. Tristan Berry throws up a prayer, and the prayer is answered. Wow. Just got exactly the elevation she needed on that, and she will get the and one opportunity on the line as a few substitutions trade in and out. Tristan Berry at the line. 64% shooter misses the
Block shot on Bates. Nakia Hooks doing a good job coming down with all the rebounds underneath. Making good recovery underneath the basket. Cross court pass to Schoenborn. And a bad pass from Schoenborn throwing into coverage again. Not throwing to the open man. Woman in this case. It's Potts. Stumbles. And Nakia hooks again. This time covered up. Three King players all around her, and that gives an opportunity for Bates to get the put in. Under a minute to go in the quarter, 62-49. Coach John Davis calling for them to slow it down. But Newberry puts up a shot, good look. 18 seconds, still on the shot clock, plenty of time, plenty of time. Getting into the 32nd mark. Half of that's on the shot clock. Barry with a good move. Puts too much on it, on the rebound. Or on the uh, backboard, rather. And they're going to call a charge. Fritz does not like that, but Nakia Hooks was not moving. Good defense for Swu. Schoenborn. Into Barry, 15 seconds, there is no shot clock. Down to 10, Barry driving, outside shot. Carolyn Reese, yes. The shot almost made at the end by King. Great quarter again to start out the half for Swu. 65-49 is the score as we go into the fourth quarter of play here. You're watching SWU Basketball on Conference Carolina's Digital Network. In life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. Welcome back in to SWU basketball. This is the fourth quarter, 65-49. Inbound to Potts. Good pass from Denton. Allie Newberry and Akia Hooks. Good connection. Pointing at each other. Obviously put in some practice time together. Kind of sensing where they're gonna be. Here's Denton. Denton drives. Throws it up. And got the foul. Maddie Denton. And 
And she misses. Alexa Grimman trying to uh, recover the ball. Need an outbounder. Reese comes over. Newberry across the middle to Nakia Hooks. Deep pass across the court, and there's Schoenborn. Grauman comes down. Fritz in and out. Grauman with the rebound. Shot called off. Substitution. Both teams. Big one for King. Couple for Swu. Trinity Lee will inbound the ball from the baseline underneath. Schoenborn jumping up in the air. Trying not to give her a line of pass. Harville takes it herself. Hook shot, good. 51-67 with eight and a half to go in the game. Here's Reese. Feeds it way over the head of Garrett. That's Trinity Lee. So real quick, John Davis quickly taking a timeout so that they do not uh, get, get on a roll. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. In life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. Wu will get the ball out of the timeout. 67-53. Hard press from King. Good job from Brittany Mack. Good job from Schoenborn. And they're gonna call a foul away from the ball. On Harville. Ball is tipped up in the air. Dunbar comes down with it. Harville misses the shot. Swoo ball. Fritz checks back in in place of Grauman. Shelby Glance had a wide open look. Recovered, Barry off the glass. Good job from Kayla Garrett getting the rebound, feeding it straight to Barry. 69-53. Pass given over to Garrett. Here's Mack on the fast break. Oh, so close. Couldn't get it to roll in. But Mack will go to the line. 
as she has been able to do a half dozen times today. Grauman checks back in in place of Fritz. So just kind of trading off minute for minute. Mack with the opportunity to add some points, makes the first. Makes them both. Good defense from Brittany Mack. Warriors doing a good job at rotating off on defense and trading and they will call a foul. She drove. So Desiree Bates, nope, no going to the line on that one. That was not a shot foul. Potts in. Trinity Lee. Big three-point shot. Schoenborn, under 10 seconds on the shot clock and Shelby Glance just lets that one float over the head of Schoenborn and then we will go to, nope, not going to a timeout. Inbound for King, 71-56. Fritz, outside, three-point. So now the three-point shot starting to heat up for King. Inching back into it. Sue so doesn't want to see them get in a rally. Shelby Glance, Garrett with the rebound, puts it back up and gets the foul. Kayla Garrett at the line. And makes the plus one. 74, 59, under six minutes to go in the game. Trinity Lee. Brooke Hendricks. Sure looked like she had her feet planted solidly to me. Arms crossed, ready to go. <laughs> Lee at the line for the second shot. Makes the second. Brittany Mack getting across half court. Doing a good job, doesn't get a foul that time. Jumps up in the air, she's been trying to, usually that's how she collects the fouls. 14 point lead for Swu. Kayla Garrett, hook shot, good.
Dunbar, sweet spin move. Just short on the shot. Garrett able to come down with it. A lot of pressure on Mac. Shelby Glantz getting a lot of pressure as well. Good job breaking the press for Flu. Hard press from King. Kayla Garrett gets the feed inside. Back outside Tristan Berry. Four seconds on the shot clock. Mack throws it up. Doesn't get the bounce. Garrett's come down with it. Still swoo ball. And that's off the side of the rim from Barry. Hendricks trying to steal it. And Dunbar fires a three point. Misses. Trinity Lee. Rebound. Nowhere to go. Back out to Dunbar for a second attempt. That time she drops the three. And a timeout called, so a good run so far, but the lead holding for SWU. You're watching SWU basketball, 421 left to go in the game. We'll be back in just a second. In life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. Four twenty-one left to go in the game. 76-63. Swoo up over King. And it is Swoo ball at the baseline. Nakia Hooks gets the pass inside. It's again King just playing a really good press defense. Working it around under 10. Here's Hendricks. And she will get the foul call and go to the line. Hendricks makes the second. Good defense from Brittany Mack. Good pass into Grumman who was making those like crazy in the first half. Hasn't been as effective in the second half. Looks like she's had a little bit of an injury is the reason for that and hasn't played as many minutes in general. They're going to call a, call a walk on Barry. Uh, no, Barry's going to the line. So has done a really good job tonight of making and taking advantage of uh, their free throw opportunities. Tristan Berry adding to that. Total 78-63 and makes them both. Shooting has made a big difference tonight for SWU. A lot of baskets dropped in. 
going the right way. Even though King has really continued to make a lot of good shots from the three-point range outside. Bates missed that one. It was online. It was a good look. Coach Davis requesting some rebounds be made. As Brianna Dunbar will go to the line. Makes the first. Makes them both. Deep pass. Hendricks over two hooks, and then they get it back out, reset. Swoo overall has just looked sharp in the game. Obviously, there's been a few, few missed opportunities, but in general, really, really sharp tonight. 2.52 left to go in the game. Shelby Glantz on the inbound to Barry. Barry tried to feed it into hooks a little too far. King ball. Coming up on two and a half minutes. And they're gonna call a walk on Trinity Lee. She just took an extra side step. Frustrated coach for King, Coach Phelps. And Swu holds on to it, manipulating the clock. And this potential upset win, air ball from Hendricks. Foul call on Barry. And that'll send Fritz to the line. Fritz makes the first. And drops them both. As the timeout is called, just over two minutes left to go. 67-79, Swoo is up. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. In life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. Back out of the timeout, 2.02 on the clock. Swoo ball. King moving over to press. Coach Davis wanting them to wait until under 10 to make the shot. Brittany Mack. 
It'll stay with Swu. Able to take about 20 seconds off the clock there. They'll have eight seconds when they inbound. Nakia Hooks, who's had a great game tonight, by the way. Just fantastic on both ends of the court. 136 to go now, 79-67. King letting the ball roll for a second. Try to preserve some seconds in the game, and that's Fritz. Does a good job drawing the foul that time, I think, off of Allie Newberry. And we'll go to the line again. Misses the plus one, Brittany Mack. Loses control. Comes in hard. Hits the head, shoulder, chest, upper body of Dunbar. Kind of winces there, trying to catch her breath for a second. Knock the breath out of her. Later Potts gonna come in. Brittany Mack goes to the line, misses the first. This is where some of that is gonna be a little crucial. Makes the second. Bates able to hang on to it and make a shot, but they call off the shot, give the ball back to Swu, saying she had lost possession. Mack being guarded closely. The King defense, here's Shelby Glantz. She's had a great game as well. So many highlights tonight from the whole team. Really a team effort tonight on the part of SWU. Now under a minute. Five seconds on the shot clock, has to throw up a prayer, almost makes it, it was in line. And they're gonna say shot clock reset and Hopefully give the ball back to Swu. I think, yeah, right there out of bounds as the buzzer went off because the clock continued to run. Barry holds. Trying to play a little keep away here, but under 10 seconds on the shot clock. Five seconds left to go, four seconds. Got to make a shot, got to throw a shot. Throws up the shot, hits the rim. Gets the rebound. Shelby Glantz right there to do that, to say, <laughs> quiet it down. 16 seconds on the clock. Shot fired from King. Allie Newberry comes down with it and a foul call. And it will go Swoo's way. They gotta remember somebody who's outbound. No, they're gonna send Allie Newberry to the line with nine seconds on the clock, 82-69. against a really tough King team tonight. This is, this is a big upset. This is uh, a great win tonight for the Warriors. Newberry, second shot, makes it 83. 69, five seconds on the clock. Glance knocks it out of bounds, king ball. Four and a half seconds. And I don't think King's gonna be able to pull this one out at this point. This will go to, to the Warriors. 
As the shot goes in with .6 on the clock, 71-83, and that's going to do it in the Warriors' hard-fought win. A great game. Great game for SWU women's basketball against a really, really tough team. So.